Welcome back to Facts Overdose. We have just crossed the asteroid belt and reached the massive Jupiter. If you are new here then subscribe and become a part of our family, we upload daily amazing videos for you. Comment down which fact did you love the most. Without any further delay, let's explore some jaw-dropping facts of the Jupiter. The first recorded sighting of Jupiter were by the ancient Babylonians in around 7th or 8th BC. It is named for Jupiter, the king of the Roman gods and god of the sky. The Greek equivalent is Zeus, god of thunder. For the Mesopotamians, he was the god Marduk and patron of the city of Babylon. Germanic tribes saw the planet as Donor, also known as Thor. Jupiter is massive. It's no secret that Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. In fact, Jupiter is 2.5 times more massive than all of the other planets in the solar system combined. If Jupiter had become 80 times more massive, nuclear fusion would have occurred in its core. Had that happened, it would have become a star instead of a planet. Though it remains the biggest planet, Jupiter has been dethroned as the moon king by Saturn, which now has 82 moons. Jupiter currently has only 79 known satellites. When Galileo discovered the four moons of Jupiter in 1610, this was the first proof of celestial bodies orbiting something other than Earth. The discovery also provided further evidence of Copernicus's sun-centered solar system model. The largest of Jupiter's moons, Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system. The moons are sometimes called the Jovian satellites, and the largest of them are Ganymede, Callisto, Io and Europa. Ganymede is larger than the planet Mercury, with a diameter of around 5,268 kilometers. Jupiter has the shortest day of the eight planets. Jupiter rotates very quickly, turning on its axis once every 9 hours and 55 minutes. This rapid rotation is also what causes the flattening effect of the planet, which is why it has an oblate shape. One orbit of the Sun takes Jupiter 11.86 Earth years. This means that when viewed from Earth, the planet appears to move very slowly in the sky. It takes months for Jupiter to move from one constellation to the next. Jupiter has a very strong magnetic field. This is around 14 times stronger than the magnetic field found on Earth, the largest of any planet in the solar system. As a result, the aurora of Jupiter is stronger as well. It produces almost a million megawatts Earth's aurora produces about one megawatt. Jupiter is the fourth brightest object in our solar system. After the Sun, the Moon and Venus, Jupiter is the brightest and is one of five planets which can be seen by naked eye from Earth. Jupiter does not experience seasons like other planets such as Earth and Mars. This is because the axis is only tilted by 3.13 degrees. The Jupiter's red spot is a huge storm that has been continuously going on Jupiter for over 400 years. Winds inside this storm reach speeds of about 270 miles per hour. The red spot of Jupiter is the biggest, most violent storm in the known universe, that spot is at least three times the size of Earth. When Voyager visited the outer planets of the solar system, we discovered that all of the gaseous planets have rings. Jupiter's rings are much thinner and therefore less visible than Saturn's, but they're there. Even up close and personal, the spacecraft needed to be at just the right angle to spot the rings. It takes 43 minutes for sunlight to reach Jupiter. No one knows what the core of Jupiter is made of. Many studies and theories suggest that it's composed of heavy metals. Although Jupiter is made up largely of swirling gases, a spacecraft is unlikely to pass through it unharmed. Deep inside the planet, both temperature and pressure climb to such a levels that would both crush and melt a hapless robotic adventurer. Jupiter does not have a solid surface compost mostly out of swirling gases and liquids such as 90% hydrogen, 10% helium very similar to the sun. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed. If I am not wrong, you guys are worried about how to land on this Jupiter, since there is no land. Don't worry. We are done with this. Let's move on from here and meet the new king of moons. In this adventurous space ride, we are going to explore all the planets, and many stars nad make a playlist of it. Check the playlist link in the description. We will meet you on the Saturn. Until then stay tuned.